you can't play. Simple as that. Simple oh. as that. <laughs> Well, but anyway, we're gonna get into our next set here. We got Fakey taking on Boomy. Oh, Demon and Battle Boots, a very scary combination. But Fakey does have the Scythe, and the Scythe in the Battle Boots hasn't been something we've seen a lot go against yet, so I wanna see what that interaction's gonna be looking like, but Boomy here does have the early gauntlets. No Battle Boots just yet, but this Scythe has been oppressive so far. Anywhere Boomy tries to go into the air, Fakey's <laughs> immediately there for the return, but Ooh. Oh, yeah, he should be fine. Oh, oh my oh. goodness, Fakey. Fakey! <laughs> wow, what a strong <laughs> opening to the series. That's absolutely what you want. And Boomy, not really much of a response, even with the gauntlets off stage. And see, that actually all started because Boomy went for a gravity cancel sig off stage to try and close out an early stock against Fakey. And then Fakey just had one long string for a punish and he just didn't allow Boomy to come back. That's how that all started. That's how all closed down. And now once again, Fakey can be no going way. for round two here. Boomy, you got to find your way back to the stage desperately. Oh my oh. goodness, Fakey, no. This is a crowd favorite, Fakey. What are you doing? <laughs> wow, twice in a row. Holy moly, Fakey oh. is on a tear right now. That was insane. That's been two plays where Boomy's trying to make a play off stage. Boomy, you didn't learn your no, lesson. Boomy. You didn't learn your lesson, Boomy. What are you doing? Oh my God! You say you think that third time's the charm, but it just not is the case. That one, Fakey's on the screen. Oh no! You could fit the entirety of that game in a replay. Oh, 175 damage Boomy brought out in for game one. We we have to see an adjustment now from Boomy. I, I I don't know what happened on Boomy's side, but that was an incredible triple offstage sudden takedown from Fakey. Every single one of those stocks. But now that we're on a bit of a smaller stage, I'm wondering if Fakey can relive the magic. Goes out instead I mean, of the we'll, scythe. We'll we'll see. But like, oh my goodness, that game was that was rough. Good offstage play or ledge guard from Fakey. Boomy's just continuously being taken down by all of these strings. Fakey's reads on the positioning of Boomy has been exemplary. But that's a ledge guard without a weapon. Back to the bow. And Boomy hasn't really made a response yet. Oh, okay, hang on. Okay. You're well, asking well. for a response. He is showing you one right now. He's showing all of us one because we certainly need to see something out of Boomy. Oh, Fakey's just barely able to dodge out of that string coming out from Boomy up into the air. No shot of a recovery though. Fakey's gonna play directly into the read. Boomy's there. And this is obviously a lot closer of a game one or game two than we saw game one. Mm-hmm. All right, there we go. Going to stick with the battle boots here. Fakey says, all right, man, I'll take you hand-to-hand -hand combat. That's no problem for me, but let's find a bow eventually. And you got to see, like, as we see right now, Boomy's in that red. Fakey's going to be looking to close this stock out. But hey, you know what? Boomy's already on the board for a stock, which is already much, much better <laughs> than last game. I mean, look, last game, Boomy only did 62 damage with the battle boots. So we're already seeing a lot more damage being applied, and we didn't really get to see what the Battle Boots were capable of against Fakey's pick, but there we go! Ground Pound is there. Still a competitive game, but look at Fakey's damage. Any, anything that Boomy brings out right now can bring this to an entire stock lead. It could very well, but this is also the Boomy said, all right, listen, I will stay towards center stage this time. I will not challenge you <laughs> at the ledge or in any capacity near off stage. And that was actually super smart. That's what led to Boomy taking that second stock. He's not playing Fakey's game. Fakey got to that wall and he's like, all right, I got my scythe. Come on, come, come play with me. Boomy said, no, 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 I'll see you up here. <laughs> oh. I'm just watching that scythe again. You can see Fakey's game plan. Just bring Boomy off the stage. <laughs> he tried to do what they did game one. Boomy is playing so restrained. We didn't really get to see this the first time around we saw Boomy play, but Boomy is purposely not going off stage right now against Fakey. And in every engagement we see Boomy off stage has been because of that scythe dragging Boomy, kicking and screaming off the stage, trying to find that engagement again. And Boomy is falling forward again. There it is. The DI is out. Oh my God, twice over. 
And that's why yeah. we see Boomy Battle Boots directly on stage, nowhere else to go. Hey, listen, Boomy learned his lesson, all right? Uh, or at least I'm hoping. <laughs> because game one was actually insane. That was just terrifying. I'm still reeling back from the way that game one ended. And Boomy now, you know, looking, looking to control at least here, but it doesn't take much. Oh God, look at that. You saw him scramble back to stage too. He wanted nothing to do with that. The scythe is gone though. Well, back to another scythe. And Boomy has not been able to find much with the battle boots. Even what should have been a final blow right there wasn't enough. Think he was just barely out of range. And every single one of these that should be a stock takedown move from Boomy is just barely, like within millimeters out of the range. And now it's orange to orange. One signature doesn't connect and Fakey gets punished heavily. The gauntlets are back out and now it's an unarmed Boomy. Mm -hmm. Okay, there we go. Oh, this is such a terrifying position for both players here. It just takes one mistake from Boomy to lose, but Boomy just needs to land like one hit to really close this out and they get it. Oh my goodness. That was so tense there too, because you can't imagine what could be going through my uh, Boomy's mind if they somehow flubbed that attack and Fakie just took him to the blast zone to close it all out. Thank goodness we saw that game two go to Boomy's favor because now we have a hotly contested game three. And I think that's just good for all of us here. Ooh, absolutely. But keep in mind, too, that was still a strong game from Fakey, but you have to make an adjustment here. Fakey entirely relied on the last two games of playing off stage and getting quick takedowns of the stocks against Boomy. The issue is we saw that adjustment going into halfway in the game, too, where Boomy just refused to play off stage at almost any capacity. At best, just a very long range ledge guard to make sure Fakey plays into Boomy's domain. So Fakey this time around needs to play a little bit more onto the ground and find more signatures that will connect and end Boomy stocks rather than relying off of stage. That being said, though, early Scythe comes out, but Boomy's playing off stage yet again. This is Fakey's domain. Now, Boomy sure has the battle boots, but they're in a very locked-in position. No. I can't believe it. I just can't believe it. No way. Boomy, play on stage! Oh, we're going back to game one, baby. Fakey with the Scythe. <laughs> Oh, it's every time Fakey goes off stage. Boomy falls for it, but Boomy played so restrained game two, they just have to get back into that mindset. And oh no. Yeah, that was okay. Boomy, okay, there we go. Getting some of that <laughs> courage oh, no. coming out the play there a little bit. <laughs> just saying, hey, listen, I I'll challenge you. I'm not afraid, but you should be afraid right there. Okay, Boomy does find a way back on the stage here. Does take the stock right back. Thank goodness, man. Because Boomy's kind of like going back to like, all right, man, I'll challenge you. And I get terrified every time I see that happen. Like, I, I want to call an ego play Whoa. so bad, <laughs> but oh! Talk about maximum ego. At least there's one for a good reason. It's not once, but twice over. Fakey somehow survives not once, but twice the boomy <laughs> boots. Good Lord. And now Fakey it's like, no, let me show you how to do this. Let me show you how this works out, buddy. <laughs> Bobby. Oh my goodness. What a set this has been. I would say, what was what this, game three? I would say all but maybe two stocks Fakey has landed against Boomy have been off stage. Yeah. <laughs> all but maybe two of the entire set. And oh, Boomy just keeps man. going off stage. Boomy, please learn your lesson for the sake of moist. Well, this is a fiery background. Maybe he's evaporating. Yeah, maybe, maybe he's evaporating. That's a great oh, call, Keg. Look oh. at that! He evaporated that last stock too, as we see oh. Fakey go up 2-1. What what happened, Boomy? What he happened? He went off stage. Simple as that. Don't go off stage against Fakey. I don't know what to tell you. I mean, I was saying going into that last game, we need to see adjustments from Fakey because surely Boomy's going to play not off stage. But then Boomy keeps playing off stage. <laughs> okay, <laughs> we're going to Demon. We we've seen how great historically in this tournament battle boots can be here. And the gauntlets and Boomy. Fakey, though, started this entire escapade on the left side of this stage, not even like, what, 15 minutes ago. Yep. And I thought Boomy was going to try and put that more uh, extra pressure off stage there. Ah, uh, Boomy, oh, you no. haven't learned your lesson, <laughs> Boomy! <laughs> What's that? What? <laughs> the Walter White meme? Boomy! <laughs> you can't go off stage, Boomy! <laughs> oh, Boomy, please. <laughs> I'm oh, losing man. years of my life watching this game. 
because Boomy's stressing me out so much. And like, I, I feel like part of that is kind of like, you know, not, not showmanship, that's not the right word, it's like the flashiness. Like, Boomy knows they can contest Fakie here. But Fakie's movement and when they go for their reads has been so well timed every single instance off stage that Boomy is not winning these fights. Yeah. And it's gonna happen again! Oh, wait. He could still recover from me here. Oh, oh barely pixels. just not touching the wall. That's insane. Skiff, my brain. <laughs> Your brain, my heart. <laughs> I just I just want Boomy to learn. He's not learning, too. Keg. <laughs> but he, he did. He did game two. And I don't know where that Boomy went. And Fakey <laughs> having the game of their lives right now is just playing so well off stage. The bow hasn't made much of an appearance. What? Yeah. As we well, I mean, for good reason. He, he hasn't really needed the bow. I mean, we've been seeing what he's been doing yeah. with the sight. No, oh, no. Me. He does it with the bow, too? Oh, okay, my okay, God. Fakey. Okay. Fakey's overpowered. Nerf this guy. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. Now, do, do you see a pattern? Boomy gets stocks when he's on stage. <laughs> it's just a matter of staying on stage, but that's the thing. Like, that's also part of like what's been making the battle boots really good too. Is their combos starting off stage, going off or on stage to off, off stage, yeah. right? So like, I, I understand Boomy's still trying to do that. It, it all makes sense, right? But just it, that Fakey certainly, Fakey certainly sees something <laughs> that most people aren't seeing on their own and is taking advantage of it very, very well. Well, I think part of it too is that Fakey's giving a lot of respect to Boomy on stage, and a lot of that has to do with the starters of the battle boots still overextending off stage without Fakey either being hit or not really being hit too much damage. But there we go, a good ledge guard sends Fakey off stage. No weapon this time, so Fakey doesn't even bother. Gets back to the scythe. But when Boomy misses these startups, that's where really Fakey succeeds and, and kind of just drags Boomy off. It's two to two. Boomy! Still anybody's game. And see, look, there okay. we go. Really smart play. There we go. There we go. I think I figured it out. If we just yell at Boomy when he goes off stage like that, he goes, oh, yeah, and <laughs> just runs back to stage. <laughs> oh, surely, surely way. he hears us. <laughs> he you know, surely we're, hears us. <laughs> we're, we're like Professor X, just like, you know, telepathy, like, Boomy, please! But, uh, <laughs> However, Fakey still has quite a strong lead here. Um, so, I mean, they could certainly be closing this out. However, this is with the bow. We've seen him do great things with the bow as well. So it's not like he's in a bad position at all. And as we can see here, the damage just continues to get racked up. Okay. We are going into a last stock situation. <laughs> and Boomy's going to retain the battle boots. And this has been a much cleaner game from Boomy. We've seen probably almost this entire set. Mm -hmm. Battle boots are back out. It's off stage, no weapon for Fakey. Keep in mind, Fakey's not going to engage necessarily without a weapon, but does get that bow. The bow hasn't really played much off stage either. This is where he's been racking up that damage on stage, looking for the opportunity to get the scythe back. But Boomy is going to take full advantage here. Gets a great signature, throws Fakey off stage. Whoa! Just barely missing out on that gravity cancel down sig. And okay, jeez, man, this is getting so terrifying right now. Ooh. Oh, Fakey just needs one more gray hit to bring themselves further into the tournament. And for Boomy, a game. Oh, no. Game five. Oh, no. Okay. B Boomy finds a way back on the stage safely, but <gasps> not Boomy. for much longer as Boomy goes down 3-1 to Fakey, making their mark as they move on the top eight, Keg. Wow. This... This was probably one of the least fundamental mechanical games we've seen at Brawlhalla, at least you and I have covered. A lot of this had to do with just raw game sense. Fakey was able to take advantage of the fact that Boomy just kept over pushing off stage. Battle boots, wow. gauntlets, what have you. That first game from Fakey just set the tempo entirely about what they wanted to accomplish this entire set, and they succeeded in and out in doing so. But I have to say, we did see those adjustments from Boomy. It's not all.